Go ahead. Try to shout.
You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound? I serve Jarl Baldruff as steward. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the Keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The Inn and Marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with Yorvaskar, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around Yorvaskar, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Very well. Just let me know when you have the necessary funds. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being If you really are or Dragonborn, dragon. then Skyrim needs you. Are you puffed up ignorant? These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be All so this standing around is rubbish. It means you can kill dragons and steal their power. Even speak with a dragon's voice, they say. There hasn't been a Dragonborn seen in the land for centuries. Not since Talos himself walked his 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. They live in seclusion on the slopes of the Throat of the World, the great mountain of Skyrim. They are masters of the Way of the Voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they're the ones who can teach you how to use your power. Maybe we'll meet in the field. Cool. Just pray we're on the same side. It's just that... What do these Greybeards want with you? That's the Greybeards' business. Not ours. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. 
The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Farewell. My Ismail, you did it. You killed the dragon. Warning you.
are pathetic! Oh. Is that it? Is that your best? I think you might be in the wrong place, friend.
On your way up the 7,000 steps again? Passing through on your way to High Horizon. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thuum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Somebody, help! Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Not today. I'm just not ready for it. 